What's the price for being arrested as a result of being an idiot streamer and harassing people in Japan for views? Drum roll! It seems to be 200,000 yen. Yes, just under $1,400. So here I am, the topic that I vowed not to get into. Yep, Johnny Somali. But there's been an important update that I wanted to talk about now that it's fresh and new. But before we get into the video, if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, then please consider subscribing and like the video to help the channel grow. So Johnny Somali, that streamer who had previously made headlines due to his disgusting streams, disrespecting Japanese people and literally screaming Hiroshima and Nagasaki on a train, trying to get a reaction from commuters. It's a saga that continued with even the Yakuza getting involved, strangers hitting him in the streets, being arrested along with his cameraman for trespassing, and then finally being arrested one more time at a restaurant. You get the idea. This piece of scum gives everyone a bad name. And as a content creator, it sickens me that people out there in the world would want to create this kind of content. Not only because it's appalling, but because in a country like Japan, where at times it feels like Westerners are all put into the same bracket, it's easy for the actions of the few idiots to affect the mass, respectful, Japan-loving foreigners who either live or travel in the country. So why am I talking about this now? Well, this douchebag was originally in the thick of things and trying to get views for his antics and I didn't want to even for a second give any additional recognition or exposure or point people to his channel. It's something that I was really strongly opposed to and something that I stuck by for a very long time. Until, well, things are different now. The story has become mainstream. It's even made international news and let's face it, this tiny little channel isn't gonna really make a difference in giving this dude additional exposure anymore since most news outlets and big channels have already done this. So why now? Well, there seems to be a big update to the situation. On December the 19th, after 38 days of being held by the police, since October the 12th by the way, Somali finally appeared in court. Reports state that Somali was charged with forcible obstruction of business and this came as a result of entering a restaurant and playing loud music after being arrested a second time. Something that he disputed, saying that the music wasn't playing <laughs> loudly on purpose. But the prosecution wasn't buying it and argued that Somali did so because he wanted to please the viewers. By the way, the prosecution was right, <laughs> I think anyway. With his tails between his legs, Somali requested leniency, saying that it was an embarrassing act that inconvenienced employees and customers. I swear that I will never record or distribute any kind of video in the future. Yes, Somali, it was embarrassing and so much more. It's also important to note that in the past, he has also been sorry, but has been very quick to return to his antics. So where are we right now? The prosecution has asked for a 200,000 yen fine, that's around 1,400 US dollars for his actions, and the case seems to have concluded with charges for allegedly trespassing on a construction site dropped. It's not really clear what is going to happen to Somali now. Will he be deported? Well, it seems that likely this will be the case when some news outlets report that Johnny Somali also expressed a desire to return to Japan in the future, but so far, it's not known if he will be allowed back in the country. That leads me to think that he will be deported. The verdict is expected to be handed down on January the 10th, 2024. So until then, we will have to wait and see. What are your thoughts on this? I can tell you firsthand that as someone who loves traveling to Japan and streams, always being respectful and reading the room around me, many times asking for permission to film or to stream. During my last trip, I did feel a little bit worried about bringing my streaming gear out and acted extremely cautiously. Even Cabinet Secretary Matsuno notably addressed streamers like Somali saying that they were invading privacy and causing a nuisance. And previously, many on Japanese social media seemed to call to make an example of him. What do you think? Is this enough of an example? I don't think so. <laughs> Is the time held by the police and a 200,000 yen fine plus deportation enough? What are your thoughts? And should he be let back in the country in the future? I'd be happy if they let him in after many years, only if they imposed a ban on streaming 
or creating content. By all means, come back one day, Mr. Somali. Let's see how soon it will be before you're recognized by the wrong crowd. <laughs> On the note of streaming, I'll actually be back in Japan shortly where I do intend to stream daily, so keep an eye for those streams, which I promise will be respectful. <laughs> If you are interested in streaming, then you need some pocket Wi-Fi or a data SIM or an eSIM, which is important for navigating Japan. I highly recommend that you have access to an internet connection whilst traveling around Japan. So please consider using my affiliate link or the QR code. You will receive a trusted product and I'll receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. And you'll be helping the channel out. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts on the topic and for Japan trip itineraries, tips and guides, head over to my main channel, Ninja Monkey. Please remember that these are all my opinions. I am not an expert when it comes to the legalities of Japan, but it's definitely an interesting point to talk about. Till next time, stay positive and be happy gaijin. Bye. <laughs> wow.